Hello everyone, and welcome back to their channel and the NAPRA channel. As you can see here, you can see. All right, so you're gonna see everything in studio right here. I'm gonna be showing you how to make roof flaps um, for NASCAR and Roblox Studio. So if you have like a NASCAR league or something, I'm gonna show you how to get those to work. So these are hard. We call them the Gen Four. Um, you see our logos and stuff that we made. We got the next gen mesh from one of the guys we know. He did make it, so this is private. Everything here is private. Pretty much, the car is white. Um, and this is one of my schemes to show. And let's play test real quick. So I'm, again, I'm going to show you guys how to make roof flaps that work. Um, I can type so real quick. Let's go over to the Camaro. I only did it on the Camaro. You can see Camaro. So if we can get it rolling backwards, you can see we have roof flaps, hood flaps, and a diffuser flap. And, you know they deploy when you get to a certain amount of speed. And it's relatively simple to do this. And we used to actually have flaps before this, but they broke for these cars. And I tried making them how they used to be, and they didn't work. But I figured out this way on how to create them. So if you see, we're under, we're, this is the Camaro's group right here. You can see we have this flaps thing. I'm gonna save this to Roblox. Now, I'm not going to use that. I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. So go for your, so let, let's go get a block. You know, go to part, you make a block. Uh, make whatever color you want. I'm gonna do black. I'm also gonna make the material metal. I recommend m metal or plastic. And you can see we have a little block here. Go to scale. Scale it down. Pretty good ways. And then you can rotate and everything. Oh, and if you need rotation, you can go to your model and you can change your rotation. Like from 10, you move to zero. You know. So I put everything on zero for. I'm gonna do stuff like this because it just makes it a lot easier. Things. What we're gonna do here. Oh yeah. Okay. So we can see right here. You're gonna put take this part. You make it straight up. All right. And if you can, you can barely see the lines on this part. So you can see the lineup of the lines for the roof flap here. Charger. So just do your best and try to line them up. Yes, I know it is gonna be kind of and then rotate it a little bit just to kind of get it to fit and then barely put it under the car. And actually if you want to you can kind of rotate it at an angle like that so it'll open all the way. And then once you're done with that one, um, you can I'm gonna move it back a little bit. You can keep that straight. Yep, yeah, looks relatively straight. You just click Control D right here. Duplicates it for you. The so same thing. Line it up decently well. Rotate it back decently well, or put it into the ground. And you can kind of see the little logo, the little thing right there. A little bit. Um, and I am kind of trying to make this relatively quick. So it looks pretty good to me. Um, with those done, go back to your park, click this little arrow, and you'll see cylinder. Uh, and it'll give you a little black cylinder. So what you want to do is stand it straight up, change it to whatever color you want. I'm going to do a fossil, which is a dark gray. I want to make this metal as well. And then I'm actually going to make it really small off the bat. But what I'm going to do with it, as you can see right here, make it a little taller, a little wider. We're going to make this little thing that would pop open 
We'll make it a little thinner. So rotate. What I want to do first off is line that up right where you want it, roughly right there. Again, you want to scale it so it's either in the flap or where it's in the flap and in the roof. Lord, I can't. Try to do the same thing on the other side, kind of line it up pretty well. You can see it's starting to come out looking pretty good. You can see the cylinders and everything. How much we copy those parts. You don't have to do it this way, but this is just a more accurate. So you can rotate it. Where it stands straight up and straight. So that's close enough for me. Same thing. Up. That. And same thing here. And you can see it's coming out pretty well, pretty well. So now you got your roof flaps done. And what you want to do is go back to one of your roof flaps, control D, duplicate it. Luckily the charger has the indent for it. Light. What you're gonna to want to do is put this to the hood. If you, you normally you'll have either lines or you'll see this little outline indent sort of thing to base it off of. What you're going to want to do is pretty much that right there. Put flat number one and do the same thing to this side. Uh, duplicate it. There you go. Now you're going to want to start naming them once we're done with this next one. So again, you're going to go to one of the reflex, control D. And we'll make sure you have it selected first, obviously. But then you're going to want to put it. Now, this isn't the most realistic thing because normally there is, there would be no middle, to, or actually, no. Uh, I think technically it'd be right up here, but I'm not going to do it like that. A little unrealistic for this right here. Or not really unrealistic, different. So you wouldn't want to scale it down. Well, nobody heard that. To. <laughs> Right there, line it up. That's actually pretty much perfect. Shorten it up so it doesn't go past the little side fins right there. Um, actually, move it, move it back. I would move it a little more. But now you're looking pretty good there. And then you want to want to go back up to one of these cylinders once again, and Control D that. Make sure you have it selected and then drag it and then you can kind of line it up underneath it what you're going to do with this one you're going to make it a lot smaller not that thin you're going to want to kind of rotate it and you're going to want to drag there i would say scale it down and there you go. And then control D again. And then to the other side. You know. And then you can see you have little things there too for the teaser flap. And you're essentially, well, you're actually, you are done with the model. The next thing you want to do, again, you want to name the parts. So if you can highlight over them, you can see. These are probably all of the things right here. So you want to go down to name. You, you can right click here, click rename. Name whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine roof flap one. This is just keep track for the moment. You're gonna change this later, but let's just keep track for the moment. Roof flap two. And yeah, just start with naming the 
flaps first and then hood flap on. Same thing with this one. Hood flap two. And once that's done, go down to your diffuser flap. I'm going to just call it diff flap. And then you're going to want to name little things. Oh, and you can use a cylinder for the hood flap if you want to. I wouldn't. They don't have them. Actually, actually, they may just a little, little, little tiny ones, but I wouldn't. Um, that to be honest. Um, if you can, select one of the cylinders. And you're gonna name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it just cylinder one. Actually, let me. See. Okay. Does that delete it? Going to want to cylinder two is what I'm going to name this one. So you can see we got one, two, would be cylinder three. I believe this would probably be cylinder. cylinder four. And then cylinder five. And cylinder six. So now everything is named. You're going to want to take all of it. So from there to there, you can see flaps, cylinders, all of that are collected. And then what you're going to, going to want to do, you're going to want to go to model and you'll see union. Click union, it'll make it its own little part. Name this, whatever you want. I'm going to name this flap. Well, it is important to know what you do. Go to flaps, hold control. Actually, I'll show you. So when you have unit held, hold control. And then once you have control held, click your car, and you'll see you have both selected. And once you have it, if you need to, go to where you can see everything like this, like everything, the vehicle C, the body, everything. And then... Hold control, unselect that, and then select this, and then click group as model. And then you will see, you can drag the flaps right into here, and the flaps will be in with the rest of the car. So when you move the car, it moves the flaps. And then once that's done, you can see the flaps, and remember, remember the name. And then actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this over script and copy it. Do this. So you'll see I have a blower script in the river in the right here. Click paste into. Well, you don't have to do this. You'll see this. You'll see these selections. So what you will see roughly is this right here. You won't really see much more than this. It may look a little different, but not much different. But what you're going to want to do, you'll see your Rust right here. This is the one you don't change. This little section, you never change its middle over value. You just change its middle number on the first one. So with that, if you are right down here, go in between both of these. And what you're going to want to do is type script parent. And make sure it's all like how it looks. He's got that blue and it actually confirms it. Because if not, then you either made a typo or something weird happened. And you want to do parent again. And then whatever you name your flap, so you can see flaps right here. So finish it out. There you go. You got flap selected. And then do transparency equal space equal to zero. And then that little section is done right there. Click enter. Type wait. I think that's a hyphen, isn't it? I don't even know what it is. Either way. So cl click that little button. Do zero. Well, anything you want, but I do 0 0.6. And then you're done right there. And then what, another thing you want to do is you want to go now under this thrust. Under this thrust. You want to do the same thing. Script dot parent. You don't need to do capital for parent. It registers it anyway. Parent to parent, and now it may look like it's wrong, like there's a typo, it's because you're not done yet. Parent dot parent, like that again. Flaps. And it may not come up this time, remember that. And then do transparency. 
equals one. I'm going to click enter again and then do weight. And then this again, 0 0.3. And then if you were to look at these scripts, they should be identical. They are. Once you're done, click out of those scripts and it will save. And you can see, so the flaps are here and everything's ready. Next, the last thing you need to do, click your flap union again. All group. Weld it. You want to go to you want to go to that weld. Your weld. Or no, there's two things left. You're gonna to want to click flaps, make sure it's selected, and then part one, you're gonna to want to click the body of whatever card. Uh, I want to go. You want to go to weld. Or go to the flaps, add a weld constraint. Part zero, click flaps. Part one, click your body of the car, so dodge body. There you go. And the last thing you want to do, go to your flaps. Make sure can collide and touch is off. Can clear doesn't really matter. And then make sure it is massless. Make sure these this union does not have any mass to it. And also make sure custom physical property is off and anchor is off. And then you can see all this right here. Go all the way up to the top. The transparency. And then put it to one. Now it looks like it's not there. Then I'll show you. We will play test. Oh my god, I can't type for crap. <laughs> and then you'll see. So here we are on the charger. Everything still works fine. Nothing's messed up with the car. Now let's see if flaps work. And they do. The flaps deploy. So there you go. The flaps work. And you're going to want to change. You may want to change that time for the flaps deploying. I probably will. So like a blow over. Weights. I'm going to go to 0. 0.6 as well there. Copy. Go back over here. I'm going to change. This is just stuff you don't got to do. I'm literally just on the video. So guys, that will do it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, I probably made this confusing because I messed up what I was saying. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this actually helped you. I know it was a really long video. Um, but if you need to skip through part of it, I wouldn't skip through part of it. There you go. Thank you guys for watching.